Hello, this is me Sad again. I'm today I'm going to show you something I took from uh, Moldova's approach to controllerism. Just do a search on YouTube for his uh, videos. Just search for uh, Moldova's approach to controllerism. Um, he talks in this video about one problem we all, all know, um, which is having two signals ranging in the same frequency range like a kick drum and a bass line this one a pretty simple one and a uh, bass line and when playing these two uh, signals together you hear that the bass drum uh, and the bass line uh, together don't sound that good it seems like you have to turn up the volume on your kick drum to hear, hear it better but there's one trick you can do it's the old one you would do uh, you would go on your bass line track and place a compressor there, there with a sidechain put in the sidechain the kick drum from the other track um, and then do something like this I think we, I think we are, are already familiar with this kind of technique uh, this pumping stuff and so on uh, what you hear now is our kick drum sounds is that our kick drum sounds sounds much better than without I can show you it just seems like the kick drum has more uh, attack but this is uh, not very good because um, you're dropping down all the frequencies from uh, the baseline track uh, all at once but not the problem part which is the bass spectrum so what you can do you can put an audio effect track here and put there in an auto filter I select this chain view and just copy this filter to another chain what let me make another chain now. This one's called low cut, and the other one is called high cut. So uh, low cut, slow low cut. I set the frequency to about 300 hertz. And inside the track, which has the low frequencies in uh, the chain, sorry, I put this compressor in. So now, when I play press play you hear that only the bass frequencies are ducked so the, the, the high end isn't affected and now when I press play you don't have this uh, pumping stuff and so on but what if you have let's take these two guys away but what if you have two tracks you want to mix together when I'm placing this guy here on this music track and set the chain from the third audio track you will hear that uh, it doesn't sound that good because now we are taking the whole signal the bass, the mid and the high frequencies inside the chain, chain, uh, side chain from the compressor so what you what to do uh, what you can do now is uh, just make another uh, just copy sorry just copy this effect track to the other track and simply uh, throw this compressor away. So what it does now it is something like a frequency selector. 
you have you have low end and a high end. But uh, having uh, inst in initiated this one, instantiated, no, created, ah, that's the word, uh, created this guy here, you can go to your other track, and now when uh, going to the sidechain, you can select three audio, which is this uh, audio track here, and down in the uh, menu, you can choose from all the effect track components, which uh, normally you will take audio effect track, high cut, this is the low frequencies, post mixer. Let me hear now the side train uh, solo. Here, that they are coming in all, pa all uh, bass frequencies. When I uh, select the high frequencies, you hear no bass. Okay. Let's move it back. Now we hear the whole signal. And you can hear uh, only the bass frequencies are ducked. So when we play press uh, press play now, it sounds much better. So I hope this one will help you a lot. I uh, would be happy if you go to my homepage, uh, write me a few words, uh, drop me a few lines and so on. Um, have a nice time, see you next time, ciao!